Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. The Tejas Light Combat Aircraft has the Solar Air Force Station as its new official address from today. All the nine Tejas fighters inducted into the Flying Daggers Squadron had arrived at the base and were welcomed at their new home. The Indian Air Force also conducted an event to welcome the homegrown fighter developed by Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. India is in the process of inducting the first batch of its Agni 5, which will significantly bolster the country's military prowess. Without elaborating further on the closely guarded defense project, an official has said that the first batch of the system will be handed over to the Strategic Forces Command very soon. According to top sources, the Defense Acquisition Council has approved the minor deviations in the S-400 deal that had emerged during the recently concluded commercial negotiations with Russia. The S-400 procurement will now go to the Finance Ministry for clearance and the Cabinet Committee on Security for the final approval. The Defense Acquisition Council meeting was held the very next day after the US cancelled the 2 plus 2 dialogue. Under the proposed S-400 deal, the Indian Air Force will get the first S-400 squadron with its full management system within 24 months after the final contract is signed. Russia will deliver all the five squadrons to the Indian Air Force in 60 months. In 2017, the Bangladesh Navy took delivery of two Chinese submarines, and India had expressed interest in offering submarine training for the Bangladesh Navy. The Indian Navy chief had traveled to Bangladesh on 24 June, on the invitation of the Navy chief of Bangladesh. During the visit, the two Navy chiefs inaugurated the India-Bangladesh Corpat, which emphasizes India's desire to have a physical presence in Bangladesh, and also in the surrounding waters. The Indian Space Research Organization has revealed that it will be launching a lunar mission in October that will explore the south side of the moon. ISRO will study the potential of a source of waste-free energy that could be worth trillions of dollars, as it could meet energy demands of the whole world for the next 250 years. Sri Lankan Prime Minister has said that its southern naval headquarters will be moved to Hambanto to port that has been leased to China. Sri Lanka has also informed the Chinese that Hambanto to port cannot be used for military purposes. The Artificial Intelligence Task Force of the Ministry of Defense has submitted its final report to the Defense Minister to implement its recommendations on using artificial intelligence for military superiority. The Defense Ministry has initiated the process of preparing Indian Armed Forces for using the artificial intelligence, and how these capabilities can be developed within the country. The Indian Defense Minister was scheduled to witness the RIMPAC exercise in Hawaii, during her visit for the 2 plus 2 dialogue in Washington. However, the visit is now cancelled, after the dialogue was postponed by the US due to unavoidable reasons. United Nations Under Secretary General for Peacekeeping Operations Jean Pierre had thanked India for the contribution to UN peacekeeping. The United Nations delegation interacted with the Defense Minister and the Indian Army Chief, and they also witnessed an exercise with troops on UN peacekeeping. China has lent Pakistan $1 billion to boost the plummeting foreign currency reserves of the country. The latest loan highlights Pakistan's growing dependence on Chinese loans. With the latest loan, China's lending to Pakistan in this financial year is set to cross $5 billion. Oh,